Hi, I'm Holly and this is an unboxing video of the Dyson Supersonic hairdryer with one hand. Uh, it's handheld um, and as you may be able to tell, I've never done an unboxing before and I don't really watch unboxing videos, but this is how hard can it really be? Uh, trying things that we've never done before um, and this is something I've never done before. My foot also makes an appearance and um, it turns out I say so. Um, an awful lot. So uh, I I hope you enjoy this. I hope it's more um, amusing than annoying. I think there's I think there's actually some useful information in there. So um, I hope that if you are watching this to get some information about the Dyson Supersonic hairdryer, you will find some. Uh, and if you're watching it to see how not to do an unboxing video, uh, you'll certainly get some info there as well. <laughs> um, let me know how you think I did. Oh, and an extra fun fact, uh, I not only didn't use a tripod for this, I forgot the word for one. Enjoy. Today we are uh, unboxing a Dyson hairdryer. Um, so we went to the Dyson store, we being myself and my boyfriend, I'm not talking about me as a queen. Um, and uh, and this is what we got. So we got it, them to gift wrap it just because the gift wrapping looked really, really cool. Um, so let's get it out. This is where I can't pick it up with one hand. I wonder how anyone could ever possibly do this. So be right back. And we're back. So this is our hairdryer. These are their little stickers that look like wax seals, which are totally adorable. Uh, this is their gift tag, which we will imagine says to me. Okay, so, as if not, also, can I just say, they did all their sticky wrapping with um, double-sided tape, rather than, <laughs> rather than with sellotape. And it's really sticky. <laughs> really, really sticky. <gasps> okay. I'm not doing this very well. There it is. So the colour is the copper and silver. And you'll see on the side that um it comes with a display case and with um, a little kind of carry bag case thing as well. How do we get in? Isn't that the question? Um, down here? <laughs> uh, around here? Oh, she's in! She's in! She's going to very unceremoniously tip it forwards. There we go. So, inside we have the main hairdryer. We have attachments. And we have what I'm guessing is going to be the um, carry bag. I think... I think the rest of that is just packaging. So we're going to roll with that until I find out that there's something that I haven't got. We're going to go rogue and actually start with the carry bag. Because, you know, I want to build up the excitement here. Um, so... Oh, interesting! So this is velvet which is not what I was expecting. Um, and it's already got fluff on it. Um, so that's gonna uh, do really well in uh, my bedroom uh, and any way in the house, basically. Oh, it's quite big actually. So the top is magnetic, which is actually quite pleasing. Um, sorry, getting my pajamas in shot. Um, and What's that? Is that a little... That's a little magnetic popper as well there. Um, and flat. 
I think that will hold quite a lot actually. So it's sort of folded up at the moment. Little Dyson logo on both sides. The kind of shiny orange trim. So it's just that one little pocket, there's no pocket on the other side. So that, friends, is our case. So move that to one side. Next, because we're doing this all backwards, uh, let's go for the attachments. So you can see on the box, um, it says we've got a diffuser, a couple of other attachments, I think that's like the airflow and that's obviously a more defined air. And <laughs> thankfully one side is already pretty open so I don't have to hopefully stay there peeling for ages. Okay. And I don't know how anyone opens things with one hand. So we're in, and this is our diffuser. So that's, that's quite nice. It's kind of, it's a bit domey inside. Yeah, it's quite domey. Um, not much more to say because as I said, I'm doing everything in the wrong order. Uh, <laughs> look, look at me go. Um, struggle is what I meant by go by the way. Uh, so this is one of the attachments for straight hair. I know less about this because I don't have straight hair and have never really blow dried anything. How do people get their cameras to do this focusing? Has that worked? I've got zebras on my hand. And then we've got this. And I'm getting a phone call, which you might be able to hear in the background. So I will go and answer that. So next, and finally, <laughs> unceremoniously, hit the diffuser out of the way. Um, we have the head dryer itself and the carry case, which comes with it. Not carry case, the display case. So, I think... Oh, go on then, let's have a look at the box. Uh, Dyson Supersonic, picture of hairdryer, Dyson Supersonic, picture of hairdryer. Looks like we need to get in from the top. Ooh, carry case. So this isn't like uh, just a plain tan. It's more orangey and it has like a little bit of a shimmer. And also a couple of marks on it, but you know. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna just get this out and then show you that. So this is the carry case, um, literally just how it was packaged in the box. So as you can see, I, cause I got it from the Dyson store, I was able to get uh, letters on it. I went for red, which apparently no one else has ever gone for um, on this color carry case, not carry case, display case. Um, and uh, the shop assistant was really surprised how nice it looks. That may or may not be in focus. Anyway, it looks really nice, I promise. Um, so this is magnetic, this little bit here. <laughs> it doesn't open as easily as that. Um, and dinner! The big reveal. So that is our hairdryer. So as you can see, the colours all match, which I think is really nice. I actually think my boyfriend is not massively keen on these colours. Um, or at least they're not his favourite, but there you go. Um, so that is the hairdryer, straight out of the box. That's where the attachments go. Let's just lift all of this up. See, if I was doing this with two hands, it would look better, but um, somehow people seem to be able to do this with one hand. Or they like mount their camera somewhere, but you know, cool. Um, so, I'm gonna take out the cable. Um, so it looks like quite a long cable, you can see all my mess in the background. This is our hairdryer, so it's actually got a plastic wrap on the handle and up here you can see the little pulley tabs. Um, should we see what else is in the box before I unwrap that? So also in this box we have got some more silica dust. Yay! Uh, so this looks like another attachment, yes, but anyway, 
Okay, pick me, pick me, focus on me. There you go, that's more or less on focus, isn't it? It's not focus, I know. Um, and then we have a little roll mat, which has, sorry. <laughs> and there we have a little roll mat, which has like this little clip around it to keep it closed. I guess that's for heat. And that is fluff because the inside of the bag is velvet. So that's nice to know that anything they robbery will um, get covered in fluff with this <laughs> um, and then this is drum roll please what is this the manual are we getting a manual hello it says to me um, welcome to your new hairdryer there you go I'm not gonna read that right now um, that's the box Get rid of some of this cardboard. This is not actually cardboard. This is velvet. Which I guess the hair dryer could sit on in the box. But I'm unsure whether that is something I'm supposed to keep or not. So I'll, I'll put it to the closer side for now. Uh, really nice in the hand. Um... I don't do loads of hair drying because I hate hair dryers, um, which is actually why I've got this in the hope that my curly hair, its diffuser, it being like weighted differently so the weight isn't all here, it's in the handle, um, will make me hate it less. So I'm just gonna see whether or not I can peel off the plastic with one hand. Oh, look at that, it just fell off for me, didn't it? That was nice. So you just love the artistry of these shots. So great. Okay, so there we have our unwrapped Dyson hairdryer. So it's got on it on off, obviously if it was plugged in. Uh, that is speed there. That I believe is temperature. And that's like a, I think that's cool blast. So, and I'm told <laughs> that that is used for kind of setting styles. So we will also give that a go. So there is this beauty. And then uh, to show you how these go on. Oh, it's a magnet. Okay, that was actually even more pleasing than I thought it was gonna be. And I can't go. <laughs> I think that's because I was doing it with my left hand. Come on, right hand for the win. No, I genuinely can't get that off. Well, they're not gonna fall off when you're doing your hair. Foot comes in, hand is busy. Hope you like my toenails. Uh, let's try the diffuser, because that's why I'm most interested in. Oh that, oh, that went on pleasingly, didn't it? So you can kind of tell the size of it compared to the hair dryer. Lovely. Can I get this off? Oh, okay. Diffuser comes off much easier. <laughs> Got a bit more leverage there. Um, we'll just pop the other ones on quickly. So, I can't remember what that one does. Um, I think that's just like general, kind of diff like not full diffused air, but not as kind of projected as these guys. Um, and I will just show you all the attachments together quickly. So these are different types of kind of styling. There is all four of those. And then I guess we'll get our little rolly mat out just to see what that's like. Okay, so that's like textured. It says Dyson on it. Don't know if you can see that. Probably not because I can't get it in focus. So there we go. So I'll just put that down so that the camera can actually focus on it. Rather than me moving it all over the place. I think it goes that way around because that's where it says Dyson. And as you can see, it's got a little bit of fluff on it. Oh god, it's beautiful. So I think what I'm how I'm probably gonna use these is this guy can have my attachments in, and this guy can have 
the hair dryer in. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Um, so I'm just gonna see how much kind of fits in this one, just for reference. So you're gonna want the whole cable in there. And let's be honest, ain't nobody got time to make sure that's like super neat. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably do it neater than that because I'd have two hands. Um, there's literally no way your diffuser is going in there. Um, that will go in, that with a slightly tidier cable will go in, and that one will go in. Um, and I mean, you could roll this mat up and put that in as well if you wanted to. Um, so it's really only the diffuser that won't actually fit. Um, so sorry, curly haired people like me. Um, it won't all fit in your box. Um, but what I think I'll do, although I'm really concerned about how much dust this velvet bag is gonna um, acquire, is keep my attachments in here. And I'll keep my little mat in there as well, but I don't know where it's little see-through. Oh, I found it. It's see-through little clasp. Should we just loll at me trying to do this with one hand? Just quickly. Just quickly loll at that. Oh, there's no way she's done that up tight enough. Literally no way. Okay, go again. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. In comes the foot for keeping it still purposes. I've not done that brilliantly. I was going to say I've not done that badly, but no, I've done that quite badly. Um, but anyway, that can go in here too. And I will sort that out and lean that up in a bit. Um, so that's all my attachments. There's so much room in there. Honestly, I think you could probably fit the hairdryer in the attachments. Actually, let, should, we, should we try it? Should we try it? Let's turn that over. Let's get that out. Um, okay, let's just try this. So I very unceremoniously put that in there. Um, will it close? <laughs> Not like that, hun. Uh, let's try it the other way around. Lay it on its side. Do you know what? That actually has gone in, which I'm really surprised about because I never thought that was going to happen. Um, so if you're okay with just this velvet bag without the, the, the box, I actually think that that will kind of do your job as somewhere to kind of store it. Um, for me, I think velvet was a really questionable choice because it's going to get so much fluff on it. Um, but maybe everyone else keeps their houses cleaner than I do. Um, so yeah, so that is uh, the uh, Dyson Supersonic hairdryer. Um, I got this in the Christmas bundle for... Uh, this is where I get this wrong. I think it was £329, maybe, she says. Um, it was about £330 anyway, if it was just over or just under, I can't remember. Um, and so that gets you the case and the bag and the hairdryer. And I think when I bought it, these were actually sold out. This whole set was sold out online. So I went to the Dyson store in London, hence I got this and the gift wrapping at the start. Um, so yeah, I hope that that is useful. I will try it out and uh, may or may not let you know my thoughts. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Um, and uh, I'll get better at using the camera soon. So that was... Uh an unboxing video of the Dyson Supersonic hairdryer, as you'll know if you got this far. Um, this is part of our How Hard Can It Really Be series, where we try things that we've never done before and find out how hard can they really be. Um, so I would say unboxing video, uh, me medium hard, maybe if you watch a lot of unboxing videos uh, or you actually thought about it before you started, um, it wouldn't be too hard. But I do actually think there's an art to this. Um, so kudos to people who make them really well. Um, look out for more of these videos. Also, uh, let us know any things that you would like us to try doing. And we'll see if we can give them a go. Uh, thanks for watching.
And just to add, uh, this is my hair diffused with the Dyson hair dryer. So I said I might show you the results. These are the results after one night of sleeping on it. So pretty good. Um, this has been slept on. Uh, maybe you can tell that. I hope you can't. Bye.